the final part of our discussion on networking topics um, is to talk about the web stack as it is the technology that a lot of modern um, e-commerce sites the internet and everything else is built on today uh, it is where a lot of you will find work at some point in the future and so it's useful to have at least a cursory knowledge of it um, unfortunately there's not a lot of great videos describing the web stack in a short sir and a short kind of summarized way so this is what I'm going to try and do in this video essentially you can split the web stack into two parts a front end and a back a back end the front end is what you might see and what will run on your local computer when you browse the web it is a combination of HTML CSS and JavaScript um, CSS are your cascading style sheets which is how things look HTML is the content that was returned to you by the server and how it's displayed and JavaScript is a dynamic programming language which can um, interact with both HTML and CSS and create more interactive um, websites and, and domains the back end is how all of this is held up on the server so at the lowest level it starts with the operating system above that we have some form of server it could be something like Apache which is returning those uh, HTTP requests we talked about before quite often you'll have some form of database maybe a SQL database um, or a non-relational database and then some language like Python uh, Ruby Java something connecting all this stuff together so the front end uh, is composed of HTML, CSS and JavaScript and this is really the domain of a web developer um, working with these three technologies and optimizing them. A back end software engineer or network engineer will deal with a lot of these other technologies um, around the operating system which is commonly Linux or some form of Windows, some server, a database and some language for connecting everything together. Now this is not an exhaustive list, um, there are a huge number of different options but just to give you an idea of how these different things sit together and how they respond. 